and welcome to a very peaceful and serene episode of IELTS On The Go. Today's journey, you will see no hyperactive Michael Lou, but you will embark on a spiritual journey in the land where three mountainous islands have risen above the clouds to form the land of Thandau. And to find our inner peace together, let's close our eyes. And to help us find our inner peace, today we have a lady, a very special lady from this very holy land. Ferenc, uh, Ferenc, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, my name is Ferenc and currently I'm studying at the Diplomatic Academy of Vietnam. I love reading books, you know, especially. Mm -hmm. Wow, how profound and inspirational. I, I can feel the serenity coming from you just by talking about all that. So, can you tell us more about this place, the land where you grew up, where you gained your um, you know, mindfulness and your, your peacefulness? What makes it so unique? Yeah, I think you know, there are many things when it comes to uh, the reason make this place is so special. Uh, but I think it lies in the um, location of this place. Uh, it has, uh, has three mountains, which is uh, Thien Thi, Thich Man, and Phu Nghĩa. And you know, each mountain uh, has its own meaning. Chuk Lam Tây Thien Jam Monastery, built on the foundation of an ancient temple called Thien An, is located in Vinh Phuc province. Along with Chuk Lam Đà Lạt and Chuk Lam Yên Tu, Chuk Lam Tây Thien is considered one of the three largest land monasteries in Vietnam today. And because it sits majestically on the apex of the mountain, from below, the red tips of its roof can be seen peeking through the pine trees. When you walk around the buildings, you can almost taste the tranquility and calm in the air. And if you come here in the summer, you will have chance to join the annual Buddhist summer camp. The camp aims to inspire the gratitude of youngsters and will be an ideal place for them to learn, understand and love each other. Moment of truth, and we've got a fantastic uh, backdrop right here, the amazing scenery of Tham Dao for this very last section. Now, okay, uh, I've got a few things to say to you, but the very first thing I need to say to you is your performance was solid, absolutely solid. I loved your intonation, you knew exactly where to stress, the exact words to stress in a sentence, drawing the audiences to the right. Um, but one thing I need you to keep in mind is that you need to work on your pronunciation better as well though. Um, starting with uh, the letter S, now there's um, the sentence that you know people uh, tend to use uh, to improve their pronunciation of the word S. Uh, Sally sells seashells on the seashore. Yeah. Repeat that time after time after time and then you'll be able to master the, the, the word S. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, you know, I wake up every morning uh, practicing saying unique New York, unique New York. That way I can sort of practicing, uh, I can sort of practice twisting my tongue. Um, so, you know, it can get flexible and I can just sort of pronounce any words uh, anytime I want and even if I increase the pace, I want to get that, that, that word wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's all I've got to say to you uh, this time around. Uh, why don't you say something to the audiences before we uh, leave them? Well, uh, I hope that after our tour today, I could make you love this place more. And uh, next time, if you visit uh, Tam Dao, I'm really glad to be your tour guide. You had the lady, you had the offer, so don't be shy. Come down here and have an amazing adventure like we did. It's always so amazing to see all of these people in remote areas of Vietnam. You know, it's not in Hanoi or Da Nang or Ho Chi Minh City to be able to communicate so well. Um, and I think, you know, it's, it's wonderful that Michael is able to meet all of these people. And it's also wonderful for me to be able to have a person like Ang, um, MC Chen Ngoc to be here. You know, he really put himself out there and it's not easy to be speaking in a foreign language that you're not comfortable with. 
And I think the moral of the story really is, you know, you don't have to be fluent to, to be able to speak. You can speak with, you know, imperfection and yet still be a very effective communicator and people can still love you. So take that as a lesson from today and hopefully we hope that you will continue to speak and understand and not be scared. Ciao, ciao. We'll see you again.